Welcome back to Cooking with Sven. I am your host, Sven. We have a very, very awesome episode tonight. Very special guest that I had the privilege of just chatting with backstage. She is a fantastic woman. Um, tonight, we are making some beef stroganoff. And this episode, we're about to go stroganoff. Hello, hello again. This is Cooking with Sven. I am your host, Sven. Uh, apologies on not doing it on Monday night, but me and my buddy Dave at Dave Fantasy, who is my main man behind the scenes for every single episode, uh, we were at the Fantasy Football Expo in Canton, Ohio last week, uh, and it was a hell of a time. We actually got to meet each other in person for the first time, and I have to say, Dave Fantasy does not disappoint. Hell of a guy. Holy crap. I want to go to Idaho and eat some potatoes with him all the time. Uh, but let's just get right into tonight's episode. Uh, we, I had the, she had the privilege of coming across our show. She said that she was just hanging out and looking for a live cooking show and happened to come across cooking with Sven. Um, she is on Twitter at Lake Denise. Uh, her name is Dee Dee. What's up, Dee Dee? How you doing? Hey, Sven. Thank you so much for having me on your amazing cookie sh cooking show. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's all right. It's quite yeah, all right. I found, I'm so glad that I found you. Uh, yeah. you. Just amazing. So anybody that is watching right now, definitely go and like that subscribe button, share, ring that bell, give shout outs to Sven. Give shout outs to this amazing in between media channel that I found. So, link below. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And make sure to follow Dee Dee as well on YouTube. She has her own cooking show. It is not live, but she cuts up. I mean, it is straight to the point, fantastic products. Um, it is cooking at the lake house, and she does live at a lake house, right? I mean, you're out in Cali at a lake house, are you not? Well, I'm about five miles away, but yeah, I do, that's, I mean, it's a little still, cabin. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so sure, that's yes, I live at a lake yes. house. I love it. That's awesome. But like she <laughs> said, make sure to follow um, IBT Media uh, on Twitter, on Instagram as well. You can follow me on Instagram at Sven Cooks Food, Twitter, Fantasy Sven. Tonight, we are making beef stroganoff, which I know – a lot of people have different, many different recipe, recipes for this. It is, it's not something that you see, you hear beef stroganoff, like beef Wellington, one way to make it. You know what I mean? Like beef stroganoff, it, it's just, it depends. It really depends on where, what you like, you know? I mean, ours is going to be a little bit different, I think, than what I've seen as a traditional stroganoff, right? Um, so how did, how did you come up with this recipe? And while, we're, while we chat, actually, I'm actually going to cut up um, an onion while we kind of discuss how you how you came up with this recipe for this. No, absolutely. So I came up with the recipe. Uh, I was actually on Pinterest and then I was looking at just different recipes and I'm like, what could I do to actually make it like in 20, 30 minutes? Everybody's so busy with kids going back to school to having multiple jobs nowadays. Um, so what is quick, efficient, that you can still get an amazing dish? And that's how I, I did this. It's simple. Most people already have pretty much everything in the pantry. So, or the fridge, freezer, whatever. So I'm just like, why not? And I made it and my husband was the guinea pig and he thought it was absolutely delicious. So <laughs> that's awesome. It really is. I mean, when you sent me the recipe, I was like, okay, you know, I'm interested to see how like what you involve in it right because i mean i actually did a little bit of research on on stroganoff and it i guess it originates from russia right for like captain stroganoff or something like that was the guy's name i mean it's still something like up, that yeah yeah it's still up for speculation but they use um beef chunks instead of right we're using ground beef i believe tonight and the traditional i think is chunks it's of beef like right chunks. correct yeah, yeah. And like my mother-in-law, she actually makes stroganoff and then she bakes it. And this is way Ooh. different. 
So yeah, okay. hers is like top notch, but hers, it takes longer than I really want to be in the kitchen, especially Monday through Friday. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Plus it's been really hot. I'm like, I'm already getting all flushed. It's all like super hot, but, um, but yeah. You have to tell so, me. I'm in Texas. We know what hot oh, is right yeah. now. <laughs> so I should stop complaining. I have the dry heat. You have the humidity. <laughs> well, when it's 105 every single day, I mean, humidity doesn't really, it doesn't really matter because you step outside and you instantly have to take a shower. So. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I should not complain because it's been yeah. in the high 80s up here. So that's like a heat wave to me. <laughs> that's not bad. How's the weather out uh, yeah, in Idaho, so Idaho there, Dave? Dave's all the way out in Boise. Oh, yes. And thank you. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for being uh, the, the uh, production Producer of the show. back. Yeah, there you go. Peter, what's up, man? Yeah. Exactly. That's my buddy Peter. He also he lives like 20 minutes ago, uh, away from me. We, uh, we hang out all the time. And, yes, it's been cold. It was only in, it was only in the 80s. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good, you're good man. Just right now, uh, too. Pretty much every day, so really it's a little, yeah, it's a little overwhelming after a while. That's but we insane. don't have humidity, so we're, I'm a little bit more in the same boat as Dee Dee there. It's a dry heat, so okay, right. okay, yeah, awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm cutting this onion. Um, if you want to just uh, quickly show this, Dave, I'll kind of just give everybody a little bit of a. I don't know how everyone cuts their onions, but I couldn't tell you the last time I actually cried. Um, when cutting an onion, I mean, I cried last night. I watched Luca with my mother. That is a great movie. I don't know if anyone's if you watch that on Disney, Disney Plus, Luca, fantastic. <laughs> but I have cutting, not yet, so no spoilers. Oh, you gotta watch it. <laughs> awesome, it's fantastic. It's great. Um, so best way, this little end, this little piece in the in the back, right? I always you always keep that on. You keep that on. And then basically, because we got to mince it, right? Did you you mince yours up? You kind of like diced it, I guess, or essentially? So, yeah, this I, okay, so I pre did it. So, shame yeah, on that's me. That's fine. No, that's but, fine. That's fine. Yeah, so, we, like to, so, we like to teach a little on this show. That's why, you know. No, and I think that's absolutely amazing. So, mine's more of like more chunks because that's how my husband likes it. I don't know if you can really see this. Ooh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah. So, and everybody has their own, when, when I say finely diced, it's basically to what you like. So, exactly. Exactly. yeah, because some people like it where they can't really taste it or uh, have the texture, but they can still taste it. And other people, yep. they want both. They want the whole shebang. So, <laughs> right? yeah, exactly. Like I'm not, and I'm not really a huge onion fan per se. It really depends on the actual dish that I'm eating. Like if I'm having a burger, like I can't, I just can't do like slices of raw onion. You know, that's just not something I just, I just can't do that. So fair enough. But cooked, I do like it cooked. You know, I make a, uh, there's another, um, I guess I'll, we'll get right into that really quick, but then I, I kind of missed the step of kind of showing the onion, right? So you have this, here's kind of slice it right here. There you go, right in the middle, and then kind of go down. You can see the lines too on the onion. And then when you dice it or when you cut it, it creates the little pieces like that, right? Oh, that is beautiful. So yeah, so I, I again, I am not a licensed chef, not now. I mean, I was once, but this is a fantastic hobby that I absolutely love cooking, and I just. And I love, you know, interacting with people. And that's how we found Dee Dee. And she's been fantastic for this past hour that we've been chatting. Uh, yes. Yes, IBT. Who is that? Is that is that you, Dave? Are you are you controlling that account? Or is that <laughs> Seth with his with his drink in the background? <laughs> yes. But and, yes. Uh, yeah, and a hi Seth. Thank you for reaching out to me if you are on um watching us. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for reaching out. This is definitely an amazing opportunity for me so thank you yeah it's fantastic we're very happy to have you on and awesome that you tuned in on that on the pizza right on the pizza dough show with uh with my buddy scott simpson out there um yes. who could be tuning in um if you are tuning in just 
I would, I would actually love to just see some comments. You know, you don't have to comment anything. Just say what's up. I want to see if you're tuning in. Uh, who, who is? Because I, I talked to a bunch of people this past weekend in Ohio. And like, my buddy Big John came up to me and he was like, "Dude, when am I coming on the show?" He's like, "Me and my daughters watch it all the time." I almost got teary eyed because I was like, "Dude, Aww. I had no idea that you watch it." So he is added to the list. His one daughter, I believe, went to the CIA actually. So I'm like. What does she want to do coming on my show, right? Exactly. (laughs) That is the Culinary Institute of America, not the actual like FBI, CIA, right? Yeah, no, I knew what you meant, but I'm glad that you said it for the viewers. (laughs) Right? Exactly. Hey, some people need, you know what I mean? Some people need clarification. Seth and Katie, it was such a pleasure to see you guys this past weekend. We had a blast in Ohio. Cannot wait till next year. Um, But yeah, so what, uh, all right, onions are diced. Tell us, tell us what we got to do next. Of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my water. Um, Okay. I started mine since I am not fortunate in Texas where I live. I do not have an electric (laughs) or gas stove. So I started it. It's electric. (laughs) Just a little early, but that is good. I'm glad that you did. So we can be in sync. Right. Exactly. Okay. So I did start my water. I did it on a medium low ish. Um, and then I'm going to start cooking the ground beef. So let's start cooking the ground beef. Get that going. I got my portable butane right here. So everybody could see that. Right. I mean, what's going on? My hands are over here. Yes. And we might, hopefully, hopefully we do not have any technical difficulties tonight, um, for the viewers so that you can actually see. Knock on wood. Yep. So there's my butane. Um, like I'm at an omelet station, right? At like on like brunch on Mother's Day, <laughs> oh. right? Hey, yeah, but I think the setup works amazing, and I love that shot Thank that you. you're getting. Joe Cracky, what up? Uh, Dave, do you want to? Uh, is your camera still on back there, uh, Dee Dee? If we want to get a shot of her, uh, of her Come food camera now. as well. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That is a. Yeah. That is and a just, beautiful shot right and there. And I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Joe Kraken. He's my editor. So thank you so much for watching in Maine. Oh, I really nice. appreciate the support. Thanks, Joe Kraken. What's up, man? Appreciate you tuning in. That's awesome. Uh, Pita, I am doing 93.7 um, because, as you know, uh, one, we eat way too much brisket and smoked meats together. That causes high cholesterol. <laughs> uh, which I unfortunately do have. So I'm going 93.7. What are you using, Dee Dee? Um, geez, do you know what? Give me one second. It's a Kirkland. Yeah, yeah. Brand. Yeah, I did. Kirkland. Oh. Not, yeah, I am not prepared. So, oh, you got me beat. Mine's only a 91%, 9% fat. <laughs> Ooh, 91 and 9. I don't even think I've heard of 91 9 before, actually. I got, hey, you got to leave it to Costco. They do their own hey. thing. And, <laughs> and they can do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Costco might be the greatest place. There's a zombie <laughs> uprising. I'm going to a Costco. Oh, that's what I uh, was saying, actually. When the whole zombie Cabela's, thing happened, I came out with Cabela's uh, first. Said everything right. I totally said that I'm gonna go to a Costco. They have like everything. Right? <laughs> Except in Texas, I mean, there's no there's no guns there. I mean, not that there should be, right? I'm just <laughs> bring your own gun. But all right, awesome. Now are we seasoning or not yet? Are we gonna wait for it to cook a little bit and then and then add some the seasoning? How how do you do it? I'm actually glad that you asked. Um, So I do let it uh, cook and kind of get its own flow going and more of it being broken up before adding. Yep, Um, yep, oh yeah. Yeah, and then some people, uh, like I said, everybody cooks different, but some people actually cook the meat, drain the grease, and then they add everything. So it just depends. But in my case, I'm definitely gonna let it brown, kind of crinkle up a little bit and <laughs> make it look like ground beef before adding. And then, um, yeah, we'll definitely go from there. Yeah, so, no, I love it. Exactly. Like you said, it's kind of, 
it, it really depends, right? Like, do you get more flavor while it's cooking because it's going to cook and kind of like form itself over, you know, like the seasoning? Yes, I or, I'm I juicing mean, up right now. Yeah, right? Yeah, and sal like... salivating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. My water, I got my water on. Okay. Let me get a nice little uh, wooden spoon for this. Okay. I think my wife and my mother just got back from the pharmacy. And excuse me, I, I think I have a wasp in my house. So give me one second. Oh my goodness. Please go take care of that. I know. I think it dive bombed me. I'm like, oh my gosh. He wants to make an appearance. If it was a spider, I would have burned my house down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Maybe, it was, me. maybe it was just a fly. My, yeah, my husband accidentally left open the slider, so. Oh. Yeah, you gotta get one of those gotta get one of those screens you know what i mean you see my wife in the background she's making an appearance <laughs> get one of those magnetic screens you know what i mean where you like walk through it and then it the closing yeah, right they just like that, together. yeah i wanted one for just, my back door but then i forgot that i had a cat and she's smarter I can than go she through was. it so no, no, I don't want her to be an outside kitty cat. Yeah, it's true, a wildlife true. we've seen. Yeah, we had a bear in our neighborhood a few weeks ago. Oh, that's uh, we, that's that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there was a bobcat sighting in our neighborhood. I have a deer that comes about three times a week over in this little uh oh, field very right next nice. to my house. So yeah, and I have raccoons. So that's why I'm like, no, I want my cat to be an inside cat. I love her too much. <laughs> right yeah no i get that i definitely get that i am not i personally am not a fan of cats but to yeah. each his own right i have two little doggies i mean they're both like 15 pounds each they look like one of them one of them acts like a cat i mean it's only on his terms you know so i got it <laughs> he does what he wants um all right i'm gonna put a little which which seasoning should we put in now so now i think that we should now I think that we should put in at least the salt and pepper to get that sure, moving. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, and yeah. then, of course, it's always to taste. I know that yep. for this recipe, um, for the salt and the pepper, you want to start off with about a half a teaspoon and then kind yep. of go from there. So Sure, sure. I'm kind of pinching, you know. I'm going, like you said, to taste, right? Right. So, okay, some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah, this is cooking really fast. There's a little bit more fat than I would have thought for like a 93.7. I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked, actually. But we are going to strain it, right? I got my strainer ready to go. Yes, and um, yes, and I also have a strainer as well. <laughs> What's up, Justin? <laughs> it could be any, fan, any show you want it to be, Mr. Stevens. What's up, brother? He's from the Toilets the Titles. Be sure to go subscribe to their uh, to their YouTube channel. They are fantastic guys, uh, Coach Sheps. We uh, we grew up together. Uh, one of the guys that did start it, um, that Toilets the Titles. We grew up. We played football like pretty much all the way together from like Pop Warner to like senior year of high school. So um, they're a great bunch of dudes. Got to see them this past weekend too. So I guess keeping on football, right? You're in Cali. Who uh? Do you, you watch football? I mean, we talked a little bit, you know what I mean? But let our viewers know. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I am actually ashamed um, of my team. Um, so it is Chargers, but I like the San Diego Chargers. They should never have moved back to L.A. So I'm kind of uh, PO'd about that. And some games I kind of refuse. I guess I'm not a diehard fan. I don't know. I'm still trying to get level with that. Um, but yes, usually I actually go over and watch football with my father-in-law and that is our bonding time. So we watch all sorts of stuff. I absolutely love it. Family, football, good food, can't go wrong. <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. And I will bet you that anyone that's in the chat or watching right now, they are most, I mean, not most of them, but a good amount are probably fantasy folk. They would probably say you have nothing to be ashamed about being a Chargers fan because Justin Herbert he, I personally think that he's going to lead the Chargers to the promised land at some point throughout, right? So, this is true. So, 
This is true. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> so I See, did. Like, um, I just. Sin. I. What's up, Dave? Sin, the issue is that almost makes it worse for the San Diego fans because the team didn't get good until they moved back to Los Angeles. Hey, Philip did some good things for them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. Philip Rivers. I loved Philip Rivers when he was say, on I there. Say, I loved Rivers. So okay. yeah. I'm going to drink this love, right now. I love Novak, uh, who is no longer. Oh, Novak. Awesome. Yep. Right. So it's just like, I don't know. He, he was just amazing. And Rivers was amazing. And they could start, but they could never finish. Right. All right, and I'm going to strain this, right? We're going to strain it, you said. Yours is already okay. done. Look at Toledo. I have, I have my butane burner on very, very high. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Which is, hey, it's. I'm going to turn my heat up then because, dang. It's, it, yeah, it's quite all right. Um, but it's going <laughs> to give me time to clean, to clean the side of my pan, actually, because you know how you – you know, you let it, you pour it out, right, with the pan. You may not have that that issue with your type of pan because yours looks like a nice, like, the deep one. I have an actual frying pan here, but right. the side usually, right? I think they actually created something or some sort of pan. Um, Selena Gomez actually has a has a line of pans that I'm really interested about that I may try to, I may purchase Selena one. Gomez yeah. Oh, yeah. What? And they that look really hard. interesting. And they have, they have Selena like Gomez, a. So I'm surprised I have not even heard of that. Yep. They have like a certain lip on it, or it could be some other kind. I can't remember, but and it, so if you if you're a big Selena fan, you got to watch Only Murders in the Building. I don't know if you've watched that yet. Oh my gosh, Sue, do not tell me the last episode that dropped on. Oh, we haven't watched season. it. We're not caught up. We're not caught up. <laughs> we didn't watch it yet, so we we have okay, we have one to so watch. So we're caught up. Okay. Okay. Yes. We won't even but bring yes, it up for any spoilers, but if anybody the out there, I absolutely love that show. Solid show to recommend. Um, yes, I do. Um, I just uh, from from my uh, from my back um, from my VIP uh, producers back here. I was just handed a note uh, that my my family, my her fa my wife's family, my in laws are actually watching the show right now, and I just want to give a shout out, a happy birthday to my father in law. Uh, so happy birthday! Hope you're enjoying your time tonight with uh, with your grandson Thomas and Brandon, Aurora, Pina, and and uh and dixie so dixie's the little the little girl doggy um oh uh, yes. well happy so, birthday yes <laughs> thank you for watching on your birthday yeah right okay so now i'm gonna put the pan back on you know what how yeah. do you feel about me throwing the onions in and cooking those for a little bit yeah let's do that yeah, and then yeah, also yeah. you can also add the uh, onion powder, and then you can also add the garlic powder as well. Oh, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the onions since I actually missed that opportunity to add the onion and the garlic powder. So I'm going to I'm going to saute some of these onions. Use the fat from the beef in the pan, right? Because oh, I mean we all love that, right? Onions. Yeah, yep. see, so we got talking, so, and I forgot to tell you to add stuff. So thank you. No, it's hey, it's quite all right. Hey, I'm just I understand you. Happy. You get you have your own show, right? But I mean, doing it live, it's a little, it's slightly different than. <laughs> oh, it's you, way different. Way so. different. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And Joe Kraken over there, I mean, he definitely makes your show look awesome, right? I know you said that he's your editor, and he makes your show look. It's smooth. The transitions are fantastic. I mean, I love, I love the music in the background too. We'll eventually get there. I would love to have some like nice, like, you know, elevator music maybe playing in the background while people watch the show, but you got to start somewhere. So. Yes. But, and honestly, like just the different camera angles for you to the guests that you, the host of your show and the amazing food that you have made. Some of these dishes I've never even, I've never even made. I mean, I kind of just, I kind of just wing it on air. You would never think, though, right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Onions are looking good. So, are you gonna strain? Are you gonna? Oh, you threw your onions in. Okay, I like it. Like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, I was with Chatty Kathy and. 
it's, no, it's quite all right. Being live to everything that, yeah, I missed a couple steps. So, oops. Hey, essentially, essentially all of it's going to end up being incorporated together anyway in the end, right? So, of course. Yeah, everything's just going to be all together anyways at the end. You're absolutely yep. right. We did an episode on, uh, what did we do? I think, Dave, it was, uh, what was it? Cajun mac and cheese, right? When Bo was on, it was me, Bo. I don't know. I forget if you, um, I don't I forget if you were cooking at that time, but, uh, Joey, that's my buddy, Joey. What up, Joey? Hi, Joey, Joey, Chrissy, Maddie. How we doing? My little niece, Maddie. Got to eventually make my way up there. Go see them. Back up to New York. Uh, I would love yeah. to go to New York. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool state. You know, it's not bad. It's uh, it gets cold. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, no, I would definitely have to go maybe around like spring or fall. I think. Honestly, if you don't mind the cold, the best time to go is probably after Thanksgiving and right before Christmas. Because then the tree really? is well, up. I mean, I the tree the is up. Too. Yeah. The tree is up and everything. Like you can still walk around. There's vendors everywhere. Like it's just, it really is just a great vibe. Because I used to work in Times Square actually um, before Ooh, I moved to wow. Texas roughly over 10 years ago. Yeah. And I would just, I would just get off of work, put my headphones in, get my jacket, and just walk around New York to oh stare at people. I right? just look around. People watching. I mean, people watching is definitely the best. Um, yes, I do like to people watch sometimes, not always, but whenever I go out of the home, I like New to York City is definitely the place the dust, to do that. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to keep these. I'm going to let these keep going for a little bit longer. Hello, mother. My mother is watching me from over there. Well, hello, mother. I'm just going to get my mushroom soup just ready, you know, just open the can so I have that prepared. Because as we talked before the show, right, mise en place is always key whenever you're, uh, you know, prepping. Key to success and less stress is always prep. I did have Whataburger today, so everybody that can feel jealous. I don't know if you have Whataburger. Do they have it on Cali? I believe we do. I know you, I know you guys are in and out, right? I'm not a huge fan of in and out. Um, yeah, in and out is very delicious. So, but um, but I think we do have a what Whataburger. I don't really go out to eat that often. No. So. So I got my onions. There's, there's, there's starting to get a little bit of color, meaning I have my pan probably too hot, which is, you know what? That's still fine. I'm going to lower the heat just a little bit, and I'm actually just going to throw the beef right back in so that I can get all these flavors married. Okay. All right. And then, awesome. yeah, I see. Oh, Yeah. Hear that I sizzle? Taste it just to see if I need to add anything yeah. from moving. Of course. It's what a good chef does. Gotta taste as you go. If you don't taste as you go, you're no. not gonna you will not know what happens. No, exactly. So I'm just gonna add just a slight <clears throat> ooh, slightly more pepper. Sure, sure. Why not? Right? Yes, I'm actually yeah. now I'm that I'm gonna do like a little bit of everything. Slightly. That's right, Joey. Bring the beef. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add my garlic powder. Perfect. Some of the onion powder. My nice psychedelic little, you know, I'm actually just gonna do a little bit more pepper since we added another ingredient of the onion, right? So it kind of not necessarily takes away the flavor, but like the more ingredients you add, you know, you kind of gotta add a little bit more spice to it as well. So and this is very true. That is a really good point. There we go. Oh, I smell the onion. I smell. Have you ever? So let me ask you this. Instead of the onion powder, have you ever actually um, added fresh garlic or garlic? I mean, garlic powder. Have you ever actually added garlic, uh, fresh garlic instead? 
Uh, do you know, I have not, but I am Ooh. always down to try something new. Of right? course. Just a thought. Yeah, why not? Cooking is just I mean, amazing. You can yeah. add this to add a fresh ingredient and yeah, it just, it just makes it, you know, with cooking, you can just, it's universal. You can do whatever. So, but I think with the fresh garlic, like you were saying, absolutely. It's definitely going to give it that more flavor that you need. Right. I mean, and, uh, and it, plus it keeps the vampires away too. Yes. So, and you're absolutely correct on that. Halloween you know, is just right around the corner. So you want right, to Exactly. So build your immunity <laughs> up by just eating fresh garlic. Just So Joey, right. so the recipe actually, so Dee, Dee said that she, for this particular recipe, um, she put when that she provided to me, you could either add mushrooms or, um, mushroom soup, right? So well, I'm actually, actually going to add mushroom soup or both, I guess, but I actually just got mushroom soup. Yeah, no, so it's actually still going to have the mushroom, the cream of mushroom soup, uh, yep. but to add more of a, a solid base, If because my husband, he was like, yeah, I want fresh mushrooms. I said, absolutely, I can definitely do that. And so it just gives it more of the mushroom, uh, I guess, taste to consistency um, in, in the dish. Uh, this is actually going to be the first time that I've done the actual mushrooms in it. So just bear with me. Cooking no, that's is fine. Fun, so, yeah. Definitely got to add some more spices to this. Oh, wounded soldier and bleeding. So Joe Kraken over here is, um, yes. talk to me about some hamburger helper. What happened uh, the first time that you made hamburger helper? He said, Oh my God, comment? don't bring that up, Gino. <laughs> oh my Lord. So that's fun. Um, yeah, apparently I made Hamburger Helper way back when, and I did not drain the grease and did not know a bunch of stuff. And basically I said, here's your slop. I went to work and it looked like cat food or something. I don't know. Oh I felt, I felt bad. So, and then <laughs> I cannot believe he brought that up. Thank you, Joe Kraken. <laughs> he's probably laughing he's so here. hard right now. That's, so if I that's recall, why he's here. <laughs> I think if I recall, and I could be wrong, it looked gross, but it still tasted good. But I guess it took them a little while to even debate if they wanted to eat it um, or if they were going to die. So, oh. uh, but they did not. They're still here. So that's good. And then, right. And then, Finn, what I'm going to do. Yeah. Is I'm going to mix the uh, brown gravy with one cup. We're going to start doing that. Yeah, I'm actually putting a little bit of butter in mine because the 93.7 kind of, kind of definitely takes away a little bit of the fat that you're missing, right? Like from the beef, you know, because if you had like an 80.20, it wouldn't be as bad, right? Or like a 73.7. I mean, that's just, I don't know how anybody can just eat that on the, on the reg. <laughs> but uh, okay, let me, uh, let me mix up my, so I added a little bit of butter. I'm kind of going off of, you know, a little recipe, but like, who doesn't love butter? Right? Yeah. Hey, so, like Julia Child, butter in every dish. Julia Child. Can't go wrong. Right. right? Okay. So let me add my gravy mix. You know what? I'm actually going to take this off of the heat for the time being really quick. Move it over. I'll just keep it over here You get my brown. So we're doing a brown gravy mix. I believe any brown gravy mix would have worked, right? Doesn't. This is absolutely right. Yeah, it does not have to be on brand. If you see one for 59 cents, 89 cents, you want to save some pennies like I did. Absolutely. I think mine costs like 90, 93 cents. So mine was in a 50. area. Yeah, mine was 50 cents. And I was like, you know what? There it is. We got a winner. Hey, thank you. And I'm like, really? That's what I yeah. miss. <laughs> so, okay. I am whisking this right now. I know I got my handy dandy whisk. 
And then after we're done mixing this, we're going to actually add our noodles into the water that we have been preparing. Ooh, okay, awesome, because I think my water is probably ready to go. Just about mine there. Is, mine is pretty much almost there. Okay. Okay. Still mixing this gravy. Let me add my noodles. Oh, yeah. You adding your noodles? Yes, I yeah. am. So I know that you put you put egg noodles, which I absolutely love. Me some good egg noodles, but then I saw these yeah, little. Yeah, so ones. I did the extra. I don't know if anybody can see that, but I did the extra wide egg noodles. I did almost Can't get the dumplings. I almost did spin, and I, I am like. They look unique. Like, yeah. I've never seen them before. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give these a shot. They're very similar, no, and, exactly. They're very similar. Yeah, yeah. but still, I, it's definitely going to be different, though. And I, I bow, bow down to you for that because I really almost got it at the store. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, I got that on. Let me get the water. Here we go. Awesome. Now, what I like to do is add just a little bit of salt so it could give a little yep. bit of flavor. That's right. And afterwards, you probably already know this spin, but to keep that flavor, you do not want to rinse off the noodles because then you're rinsing off the deliciousness. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let me add some salt to my water. I had to put a little bit more water because I guess some of it evaporated from, from the pot. That's okay, though. Okay, so that's yeah. on. Now... Now what are we doing? I got this gravy mixture, right? I got my beef and onions. Yes. So with the beef and onions, you're going to add the gravy mix into the ground beef. Okay. All right. Let me put it back onto the back onto the stove or the the, uh, the heat, I should say. Turn this on. Awesome. Okay, so gravy mix, right? First, before the uh, before our cream of mushroom, yeah. This is true, yes. So we're gonna let okay. this um, just cook just slightly, and we're just gonna mix Ooh. it together. I like it. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is this is what mine was missing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yours looks amazing. This is awesome. Love Look it. at yours too. I love that. I probably should have used a pan like that actually instead of this one, even though this is. This is one of my bigger ones that I got in the in my kitchen of thousands of appliances. Ah. So yeah, I have everything. I literally I have from ice cream makers to deep fryers to three different pasta makers. <laughs> it's crazy. Amazing. Yeah, I pretty much just have my KitchenAid. Jorge, que pasó? Uh, uh, an air fryer uh, and a hand mixer. So other than that, I don't have anything else, uh, but that's okay. The ice cream maker, I it, think, is fantastic. Oh, I used to make homemade it, ice cream way back when I was a little girl with my dad, and it took hours, like all day it seemed like, and we only got like this little tiny thing, <laughs> but it was worth it's, it. Family time. It's fun, mystery. right? And yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> okay. Got that. I'm going to let that sit on the low heat, right? We'll give it a little bit yeah, of low Yeah, so it's going to be like this. a low-ish. Okay. Like low, medium. Got my, <laughs> got medium my noodles low. going. Yep. All right. All right. I'm just gonna awesome. Turn so they are still boiling. And then let me get my strainer. Because I'm going to need another strainer for the noodles. Ready to go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Jorge, what's up, brother? I've known Jorge for a few years now. We uh, we joined a 
we did a couple shows, but we joined a league where we do like a live draft, like a, an actual draft where we all like hop on a live stream and whatnot. And, uh, and I got to see my buddy this past weekend. We're actually, I'm hopping on his network to go talk food. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Jorge, shoot me a DM, brother. Well, uh, we got to figure out when, um, when I'm going to hop on and talk some food and whatnot. And I'll keep but, my uh, eye out so I can hop on and watch you guys. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, definitely. <laughs> hip, hip, hip. <laughs> hip, hip, hip. Let's, let's see if he writes it. But it's uh, that's a, that's a Yankee. It's a Yankee thing. Um, Jorge right. Posada. They would everybody, you know, they would say hip hip, Jorge. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I see him at the, whenever I see him at these conventions, I just I always scream it across, and then he's it's always Jorge. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, I All love right. It. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, and then from here, what we're going to want to do is then we're going to add our uh, mushroom soup. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. I'm checking and, my pasta really quick. Yeah, and also the sour cream. And okay. Definitely check on that pasta. Ooh, let me pull out the sour cream from the fridge. That is a <laughs> traditional. I think that's traditional in the beef stroganoff as well, actually, that I saw. Yes. Got a nice hefty spoonful of sour cream. I mean, you get the flavor, but it's also there to thicken it up, you know? No, you're absolutely right. Without the sour cream, um, it definitely will not be the same. <laughs> right? So. Okay. So, yeah, Did so you add you, you added you added your soup? Not actually I'm adding my sour cream and my soup at the same time. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay, let me. All right, sour cream. I got a nice little hefty spoonful, right? I guess that's. Yeah, you want to do about start off with at least a half a cup, and then okay, you can okay. kind of see how it thickens. Um, okay. And then also with the uh, cream of mushroom, you can get the regular. I believe it's the ten ounce, or you can get the family size, um, and then kind of play it by ear. Uh, but if you Fancy. only have the uh, regular size, then absolutely. Uh, that will okay, definitely. Okay. Ooh, my allergies acting up a little bit down in Texas. Oh, I understand little, allergies. A little crazy down here. All right. I'm also adding a little bit more salt and pepper. I don't know about you, but I kind of, I like seasoning as I go along too, right? Keep adding that flavor to it. Absolutely. Yeah. I was actually just yeah. going to screw everything together, taste it, and then see on my end if mine needs a little bit more as well. Ooh, I am digging this. This looks, oh my God. Now I'm really looking at if you like this really easy uh, beef stroganoff. It's not the traditional, but hey, it works. No, it looks, I mean, it, it looks awesome. <laughs> the smell, though, too, the smell. Like, I mean, Mr. Scampers, what up? Um, I I really wish that there were 4D features, you know what I mean? We're in 2022, right, where you can actually, like, smell your phone and then smell what people are like. For the smell of right? Like, right, exactly. If anybody's watching, they could be like, oh, my God, I can smell it, right? I just feel yes, bad. Absolutely. I just feel bad for everybody watching. I wish I wish they could all be here. Maybe one day I'll have my own live studio. Um, hey, because we talked. We talked about Emerald on this show before, right? We don't have the crew that he has, but you got to start somewhere. Yes, so. absolutely. You always have to start somewhere. Exactly. All right. Still got my heat on. This butane is still running for me. I'm loving it. But, yeah, this is very similar to a uh, – so my father was actually born in Austria and um, make a Hungarian goulash – that people sometimes mistake, I guess, for like a stroganoff or what I mean. Oh, but uh, goulash, yes. So goulash, main ingredient, Hungarian paprika, right? But you can use the egg noodles. And I use the egg noodles. You cook those and then you put the goulash on top of it, right? It's just London broil, onions, beer, Hungarian paprika, salt, pepper, and then let it cook for like hours i cook mine for about seven hours probably i say on average in like oh, a crock nice. pot yeah so all right yeah i'm gonna have to get the uh that paprika that you're listening hungarian oh yeah 
The Hungarian um, paprika, it's it's very different tasting yeah. than a than a regular paprika, right? So like I have I have the hot one they have, and I have the regular, and then I also have smoked paprika. Smoked oh. paprika. Oh yeah, smoked paprika. The flavor that you get from that is unbelievable. It's very different. Let me check my pasta over here. See if we're al dente. <laughs> my terminology is right. You like it not? I love it. <laughs> I do not. I also do not recommend taking a noodle right out of the hot pot and then just eating it. Maybe cool it down a little bit. Oh, see, I um, was totally eating it out of. Yes, my yes, of course, of course. If you have that ability, yeah. I mean, I have. Sh I have chef purposes. hands. Yeah. Yes, safety purposes chef do not do that. <laughs> exactly, because I got chef hands and whatnot. Like when you work in a kitchen, and anybody's watching that's ever worked in a kitchen as like a chef or anything like that, like you, you develop, you know, strong, like tough, and like you can. You Where don't you even get, care. You just you get cooking you calluses. Care. That's what it is. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so this this color, I mean, it doesn't like it looks exactly what I expected, right? Like it's got a nice brown, like a very nice brown color to it. Yes. And it looks fantastic. Let me give it a shot. Let me pull out one of my tasting spoons and see what needs to be added. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, let it simmer for about, I want to say, five, ten minutes. Ha ha, Mr. Scampers, that's good. Keep that up. Didi, let's see, check his, check his comment. That was, that was a very good joke. I love it. Uh, he loves Halloween goulash. Ha ha. Parapacha. Oh <laughs> Dave, we need to get like a soundboard, right? <laughs> See if we can like do like a, I like that. a nice, exactly. Like just like a nice little, I think that would take, I think that would take it to the next level. <laughs> and then like, maybe like a, you know, like a epic music or something like that from like something like Fantasia, like on the food reveal or oh my and gosh, whatnot. I thinking. Fantasia. Oh my God. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you last time I watched that movie. All right. Yeah, it's been a minute. This beef stroganoff looks unbelievable. I'm going to go take it to my VIP section and see what they think about it. Sounds good. Amazing. Have you guys heard that? I don't know if you did. Amazing. My mic is very sensitive, but it could have. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I got the mother approval on it yet. She still hasn't, she still hasn't stamped it yet, but she's standing there waiting to do it. So. Oh, awesome. I'll, ta I'll take it. All right. Well, right. you're doing awesome. that. I'm going to start my mushrooms so I can start to saute them a little bit. Ooh, okay. Okay. Now I'm just so, yeah, and I'll just keep olive oil for everybody watching, just regular olive oil. Um, I'm going to let yeah. the pan heat up a little bit. And I'm then I'm going to put in my, my mushrooms that I actually I cut into chunks. So, do you like the chunks or do you like the slices? Like, do you actually like chunks better or what is actually, your preference? I, so it just depends. And I kind of wanted my husband's approval um, because I cook for him. Um, but I do happy have- Happy husband, chunks. happy life. Is that, is, that yes. what, is that what they say? Yes, exactly. He works <laughs> his cookest off. So. Right. But no, and I do have the, uh, the ones that are sliced as well that I was going to Hey, we throw. won't have that slander here. You cannot say took us on this show. Oh, well, took us <laughs> away. That, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, these noodles. I am very happy with this. I mean, I like I said, I love me some egg noodles, but these, these dumpling ones look really good. Okay, show me your noodle and I'll show you mine. Yeah. Oh, where's my thing? Oh yeah, oh, yours looks yeah. great. I don't know if anybody can really see mine. I'm just gonna eat it though. Yep, same. Um, I think I got maybe another like 30 seconds or so. Like it's right there. Same. Yeah, mine's actually almost there as well. Actually, you know I'm what? I'm just gonna the same, uh, same boat there. I may actually take it off because it's got that nice little. It's probably it's as as they say. It's probably nice and al dente, right? Yes. 
right? So I got to ask you, you're, you're, you clearly are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan with that awesome mug that's just chilling right there. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it a, is it, no, it's fine. It's fine. Is it a Christmas movie or is it a Halloween movie? See, that's not really a trick uh, question. It's both. No, it's not. But I'm right. Or is it both? Okay. To me, I I'm think okay it's with that. Both because okay. well, I watch it all year round, but I watch True. it more around Christmas time and Halloween time. So okay, okay. Actually, what I'm gonna do is take off my noodles. Straight yep, I just took mine off, actually. So what you could do, too, is if you really, really wanted to stop the process of cooking it, you could actually, as you're straining it, what I do sometimes, I take like a handful of ice cubes, and I toss it right in there with them. Oh, wow. To kind of stop. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, when you so work you in a kitchen cooking, sometimes. That's smart. Yeah. Because you do want to make sure that it does Ooh. stop cooking, for sure. Then you'll so I actually... Right? Yeah, yeah. So Mr. Scamper's got a question um, for the goulash, actually. I actually do not put potatoes. So it's basically I, I put uh, sweet onions. I do the Vidalia onions, right? I love a Vidalia onion. Um, Vidalia onion. And I, I actually I, – you could do I, – I do London broil. I get big chunks of London broil, and I cut them up into little cubes, right? And then I basically throw the London broil in the pan – brown it, take it out, cook the onions in that flavor, right? So I keep all the fat and everything in there, and then I throw the meat in, and the onions kind of get, when they kind of like emulsify in there, and like, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and then um, after that, uh, I add one can of beer. Typically, I'll go with a journey. If I know I'm making it, I'll go out and I'll get like a, I'll get beer, and I call it, Vor it's called Vorsteiner. If anybody's ever had that beer, it, it is one of my all-time favorite beers. It's my first beer that I had that my father – that I had with my father, and it is oh, unbelievable. And I'll put a whole thing of beer in, and then every hour or so, maybe even every 45 minutes, I literally go back and I do salt, pepper, Hungarian paprika. That's it. And then at the end, kind of add some sour cream. But if you really, really want to get the full recipe, um, shoot me a DM. Follow me. Twitter, Instagram, Sven Cooks Food, Twitter, Fantasy Sven. Definitely shoot me a follow, and I would be more than happy to send you the recipe if you really want it. If you want the full, uh, the full-on recipe. Um, damn, this smell! Oh my god, it's just like it's just standing over this. Um, sometimes I do, Jorge, uh, add new, add butter, um, either butter or olive oil, right, so that it doesn't stick together. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. With yeah, typically with with what I've noticed with my uh, white egg noodles, the salt will suffice. Um, that it won't stick together, but that's just me though. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. I usually use a little bit of olive oil or butter, but I usually go more on the olive oil side. Um, yep. Yep. It's a little bit healthier, right? I love me some, it is, some yeah. extra virgin. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we're right there. We're trying to make this as healthy as possible. Um, right, exactly. <laughs> with that can of creamed mushroom soup, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So that Hungarian paprika, I've known a couple – you, you mentioned it, and then um, Mr. Scampers over there is talking about it as well. So this, I do not work for them whatsoever. I'm not endorsing this, but I, but I am. This right here will change your life if you add this to your pantry. You'll never use any other paprika. See? And they make a hot too. Now, you may not be able I to buy it at like a traditional supermarket. It really depends. Like I have Central Market down here in Texas where I can get – they're your, your fancier stuff. It's like a Whole Foods, they might have it. I mean, I haven't been to a Whole Foods in years, but they probably have it. Um, so are we combining the – we're combining these now, right? Or we're going to eventually combine all of it? Are we doing it in a big pot or just a bowl? So I say that you can do it however you want, but before um, doing anything, let's add the parsley. I have my dried parsley. Let's add that Ooh. to the noodles. To the noodles. Okay, okay. Because then it can kind of stick a little bit. And then from there, once we start mixing everything together um, with the sure, sure. noodles to the delicious sauce boss that we made, um, yeah, yeah. then we can add more. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Just added some more oil to my noodles so that I can 
because they are kind of sticking together, but not really. But you know what? It's all good. Ah. Totally all good. Might as well. Linen room. All that comes to mind. I want it to yep. be almost, almost similar. Right? Okay. So I just added the parsley. And I like, I like the idea of the parsley with the noodles so that it could stick straight to it. I think that's that's something that you don't really, you know, not many people, I guess, would do, I guess, per, you know what I mean? Um, right. No, of course. But I like it. Yeah. I like it a I lot. Always, I love dry parsley, so I'm like, how can I make this, you know, all stick together? And I'm like, yes, I'm going to add it. And then whenever well, you're have, ready, we, can, we can add noodles have, however you want. I have a massive big bowl that I think I'm just going to throw it all in. Do you know, I say you go for it. Cooking yeah, is does that work? Awesome. So, okay, if you were to do that, what would you do? The noodles first and then the stroganoff on top and do a nice little mixture? No, I would kind right? of go so back and it... forth so you can get more okay. of a base and then they can cover. That's how I would do. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Oh, no. We did uh, soldiers. There we go. I just stuck it back in. I know that's crazy. Okay, throwing some noodles in here. Awesome. Right, okay. I got a nice, off. got a nice little, oh, yep. Who fell? Got to eat them. Right. Sorry. Right. Got to eat right. the wounded soldiers. Exactly. Got to eat him. <laughs> okay. You're just tasting awesome. the finished product. Exactly. So now let me move my butane burner because this is very slippery for, with the pan on top. And now, oh, yeah, this looks fantastic. Dave, get that right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wish I had no. a prettier bowl to put it in. You know what I mean? But I think I think everybody gets the idea. This is what we're doing. And you're probably going to laugh because I have a huge bowl, too. Um, but this is for That's my fine. husband. That is his dinner bowl. Love it. Yes, and anybody that knows he's, my husband, he he's he's not even like a big boy either. He's just tall and he's like muscular and stuff. It's weird. Um and he eats so much. He's for like a family of four, which is better because last time you know, God, I want to say eight years ago, ten years ago, he was eating for like a family of six, and I was like, All right, you gotta slow your roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's a growing boy, you know. He's got. I mean, no, I'm, boys will be exactly. boys. Exactly. So. Exactly. That's right. And I did not put the special ingredient because um, we love spice in our house. That I'm gonna actually add some tapatio. So you can add whatever you can add tapatio. You can add any kind of hot, you know, hot sauce that you want for that extra kick. Um, so, yeah. We love spice. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks this looks awesome. I just I just combined it all in. Of course, I spoke too soon. Right at the end, got a little bit of technical difficulty with my food cam. But don't you don't you worry. I'm gonna make sure everybody can see this this awesome meal right here. I am gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. Right. Right before, and then I'm going to put it in a nice bowl, and then I believe we get to try this amazing dish. Yes, we do. Oh, this is awesome. Now, do you have do you have this recipe written up, actually? Because um, I was going to say, if anybody wants this recipe, you know, feel free. Definitely uh, give, give Didi a follow. I got to get my arrows right, too. Yeah, like, absolutely. Nice. I can definitely, if anybody wants uh, the recipe, then absolutely. Um, or I, later I can go and I can drop it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Either I can way. Um, do that as well, because then it will be there for anybody. Yep, yep, yep. And if you are watching right now, please just give a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're not just food. It's fantasy. It's life. It is just. It's from NASCAR to golf to cooking to, you know, what's what's going on in someone's head like right now, like throughout their life. Like it's just there's. There's so much that I'm between media does that that's why I like they're just and I had the privilege of meeting, I would say probably 90 percent this past weekend. I mean, a couple of them 
yeah, I, I don't believe attended, but it's all it's all good. But um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe. Definitely give a like. Um, this food, this looks awesome. And if you wanted a um, side with it, um, you can always do garlic bread, cheesy bread, uh, if you want. Um, but typically, uh, this is usually just a good meal for my family, but everybody has their own preference. You can even do a side salad for before the meal. Right? There it is. See that steam? Right? You see that? Yes. Anybody watching? Oh, yeah. Food porn All right, right here, you guys. That's exactly Cheers. what this is. Yes. Cheers and bon appetit. Cheers. Yes. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Not bad, right? Easy ingredient. Wow. Oh, my God. Not bad. I think it's, it's all of it, right? Like, it's literally all of it together. That just. Yeah. And Give yeah, it. and then you can also add more parsley if you want as well. Maybe keep a little bit, you know what I mean, when you serve mm -hmm. it up, right? Right. You eat, your eyes. Yeah. you eat with your eyes, not your stomach, you know what I mean? So this is very true. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's every how episode. Every episode, I feel so bad for everybody tuning in and that they can't, you know, they that you guys can't get a taste like live, yes. right? <laughs> Who writes the <laughs> right? Who writes recipes these days? What is it? What what is a cookbook? What is that? Right. What is that? Right. And most of those sites that you go to, they give like a ten-page novel before you even get to the recipe, and then they describe some of it, and then you get to the recipe, and you're just like, and you're like, what? Just, Why? Like it should be straightforward. Yeah, okay. Ingredients and how you make it. That's it. Exactly. Right. I but you're it. absolutely right. You're like, dude, I do not need 10 pages for one recipe. I this could is, not agree man, more. This has been absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you enough for coming on. Um, everybody, be sure to go follow Dee Dee on YouTube, Cooking at the Lake House. Be sure to subscribe to her channel. Drop when do you when do you drop your videos? Um, do you know it's kind of hit and miss? We I try to do okay. it at least. Yeah, I try to do it at least once a week, but sometimes I won't drop anything for a few weeks because um, life happens. Um, yeah, so we get it. right now I don't have a set schedule, but if you ring that bell, then you definitely will get that notification. And yes. if any of my followers are watching today, um, definitely go check out Cooking with Finn and definitely go to In Between Media. They have a well-rounded channel and it's just going to take off from here. So Thank share, you. like, ring that bell, and tell your friends to go on and uh, take a look. I know I did hear in another video, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it, but I did hear you guys were actually going to start to have some merch dropping for In Between Media. So keep I your think eye that out might be happening. That video, yep. Mr. Scampers, appreciate it. Appreciate the follow. Um, but yeah, there might, there might be some merch. I mean that, yep. Um, I can either, yes. con neither confirm nor deny that. Right. But when it of does, course. we'll definitely be, obviously we'll let everyone know. And, uh, I am actually rocking. Some oh, in you media are. Stuff right I, now. I, I, I got my shirt shirts in another video. <laughs> I got my shirt oh my last God. weekend. Yeah. They gave you them all to them. us. Um, Dave, did you get, did you, um, I hope Dave ended up getting his shirt. Uh, after uh yeah this this weekend was just chaotic and awesome at the same time so hopefully everybody from between got theirs right but um really appreciate everybody tuning in um can't thank you enough like i said subscribe like follow us on all social media platforms and tonight has been absolutely fantastic take care everyone bye thank you